What's going on, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, your home for collected edition news. And today, I do have some breaking news from the world of Marvel Masterworks. Some big, exciting news that I know so many people have been waiting to hear. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by Marvel Comics, so thank you so much to David Gabriel and the fine folks at Marvel for sending us advanced information on these particular books. Alright, so before getting started, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, make sure you share the video, keep away from the comment section so you can be surprised, and then by after you watch the video, go ahead, let us know your thoughts. Okay, so this particular announcement brings me a lot of joy because it's kind of been a thing uh, back and forth for a couple of years. Uh, fans have seen my videos and I've shown off the Marvel Masterworks. And by the way, if you're not familiar with the Marvel Masterworks, I've done videos on the different collected editions and focusing just on Marvel Masterworks. Uh, to me, they are the top tier, the best collected edition out there in the market. And for a lot of people, they feel the same way. However, Marvel hasn't really reprinted any of these. So for some people that have been wanting them or uh, wanting future volumes, they were kind of worried that Marvel would never reprint them. Well, worry no more. Because that's what this breaking news is. I'm talking about the Marvel Masterworks reprint starting next year. And I think they're dubbing it the Remasterworks. Uh, this is all because David Gabriel really heard a lot of people speak up and talk about how much they wanted to start collecting these. So they're going back to the beginning. So let's go ahead and get started with the release dates and the titles. Up first coming out in May of 2023 is The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1. Both the variant and the standard edition cover are going to be available for all of these, by the way. And they'll be over here to my right. Uh, the content, as always, will be down here below. Uh, collecting the Amazing Spider-Man 1 through 10 and Amazing Fantasy number 15. So that's Steve Ditko and Stan Lee, where it all started introducing us to Peter Parker in 1962. And coming out in June of 2023 is the Marvel Masterworks The Fantastic Four Volume 1. Collecting the first 10 issues of The Fantastic Four and the retail price of this and Volume 1 of Amazing Spider-Man are $75. Uh, 288 pages for this one. So collecting the first appearance of Mr. Fantastic, uh, The Invisible Girl, The Thing, and The Human Torch, as well as Doctor Doom, The Scrolls, uh, The Mole Man, and of course the return of the Submariner. And coming in July of 2023 is X-Men Volume 1, collecting the first 10 issues. So introducing us to Marvel Girl, Cyclops, Iceman, Beast, and Angel. Of course, all leading them is Professor Xavier. 288 pages, $75. And reinventing uh, the Kazar character too, but also introducing us to Magneto, The Blob, and the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. So this is uh, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. That one comes out in July and coming out in August of 2023. The Avengers. So this will be volume four of the Marvel Masterworks, but volume one of the Avengers. Collecting the first 10 issues of the Avengers. Uh, Jack Kirby, Don Heck, and of course Stan Lee. Uh, putting all the characters together into one comic of the Incredible Hulk, the Mighty Thor, Iron Man, Ant-Man, the Wasp, all brought together because of Loki. And then, of course, you have the return of Captain America in this particular volume. And coming in September, The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2. Collecting Amazing Spider-Man 11 through 19 and annual number 1, 312 pages, $75. More of that Stan Lee and Steve Ditko era. And in this particular volume, introducing us to Craven the Hunter, Mysterio, and then the Green Goblin, which to a lot of us is the greatest arch nemesis for Spider-Man. And of course, annual number one, putting a lot of these characters together for the Sinister Six. In October, we have Marvel Masterworks The Fantastic Four Volume 2, collecting the Fantastic Four 11 through 20, and annual number one. And like I mentioned 
both covers are going to be available. The direct market and the standard edition cover are going to be available for this new printing. Uh, in this, we are introduced to Rama Tut, Kang the Conqueror, if you will, um, and the Mad Thinker. Oh, man, there's an encounter here with the Watcher, uh, the Puppet Master, and Red Ghost. This is some more classic Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. 320 pages, $75. Coming in November of next year is X-Men Volume 2. So collecting issues of X-Men 11 through 21, 256 pages, $75. And now you have some stories by uh, Roy Thomas. You also, you also have uh, some classic Alex Toth artwork that's joining Jack Kirby and Werner Roth. In here we kick it off with the Juggernaut. We have the Stranger that comes in, Mimic. And then the there's a three-part story arc in here with the Sentinels. And to wrap up the year as far as new printings of Marvel Masterworks, this is, by the way, not going to affect the ongoing new Marvel Masterworks. This is just the new remasterworks or reprints of the Masterworks that are coming out. Uh, because of you all. You all said, hey, I wanted to start collecting these, but it's impossible to find them. Well, not anymore. Well, not as far as next year is concerned, not anymore after that. But here we have The Incredible Hulk, Volume 1. Collecting the first six issues of The Incredible Hulk. This one's 184 pages, $65. Uh, Jack Kirby, Stan Lee, and Steve Ditko introducing us to the characters of General Thunderbolt Ross, Betty Ross, Rick Jones, and of course Bruce Banner that becomes The Incredible Hulk. Um... So if you've been paying attention to this list and the way that they're releasing them, this is the exact same order that these were released when they first came out in the late 80s. We're going for the first eight volumes of the Marvel Masterworks in the chronological order that they were released when they came out in, I think it started in 1987 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so if they continue and they see a success in this, the next book will be Avengers Volume 2 and then Spider-Man Volume 3, I think. Um, and then I think they move on to Uncanny Volume 1 and they go back and forth and they start adding new titles. So yeah, this is a very exciting uh, breaking news for me because for as long as I've been doing breaking news, none of the Masterworks line has ever been reprinted. And I think that it, this was a big decision by David and his team to do this. So there you have it. If you've ever wondered about the Marvel Masterworks line, if you've ever wanted to check it out, but you were like, oh, there's no volume one and two. Now's the time. Now you can go get the future volumes that are in stock and hope they'll reprint them all the way uh, until you get caught up. But remember, uh, these start coming out next May. Don't forget to pre-order these books as soon as they're available for pre-order. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave your questions and comments down below. Let me know. Let us know what you think about uh, the reprints here. And again, it's not going to affect the new books, the new Marvel Masterworks that are coming out next year. This was The Uncanny Omar. Thank you again to David Gabriel and the fine folks at Marvel uh, for sending us this information. I'm very happy to get to share it with you all finally. Everyone, stay healthy and safe out there, and what else can I say? Make mine marvel. <laughs>